read, uh, my name is Christopher Robson. I'm going to read Two Weaver Birds uh, by John, which uh, John Bradburn wrote this in the 1960s, I think before he went to Mpotemwa. And the weaver birds uh, actually kill parasites and eat them on the trees. And actually this was next to a, 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 a nest of butler eagles, which was the symbol of Zimbabwe. Two weaver birds, the pair in bottle green, prismatic and a sheen, frequent the nest of these gray eagles great, the king and queen of woods, which are my toy, my dream, my rest. These nimble little verdant birds alight with not the slightest fear upon the rim of sylvan eori, make it their delight to look upon its eaglet, her or him. Verily yet I know not, merry thought I'll entertain upon it by and by, but still is closer friendship to be sought with sire and dam of that far smaller fry. There is a slender tree of 15 feet up which I climb, that eaglet might to greet. On either side, the nesting tree are slopes rocky and quite precipitous. On one I sit and watch and wait in eager hopes, nigh level with the nest, no snare, no gun. Growing hard by, the slender tree I climb, which is not more than 15 feet in height, nonetheless rises, right in place and time, exactly as I need the nest to sight and look inside and see the leaves and twigs rigged up in wondrous camouflage to hide the eaglet. Still, so still. The mother wigs my screaming if too long thereon I bide. I used to pipe her green sleeves. Her reply was green leaves gathered, placed her baby by. I piped her green sleeves on my light recorder, but she'd not dance precisely to my order.